step into the fascinating world of the notorious landlady, a 1962 film that promises a roller coaster of emotions. Starring a classic Hollywood icon whose charm will undoubtedly win you over, the movie weaves a tale filled with humor, shock, and poignant moments. As you watch, keep an eye out for those scenes that might just leave a lasting imprint on your memory. Now, which classic Hollywood actor steals the show for you? Is there a particular moment in this cinematic gem that you can't shake off? Let the film unfold its magic, and you might just find yourself laughing, gasping, or even shedding a tear. But that's not all. There are plenty of amusing, surprising, and touching facts waiting to be discovered. So, are you ready for the ride? The notorious landlady promises to keep you on the edge of your seat, and we wouldn't want you to miss a beat. As you reminisce about this classic, we'd love to hear your fond memories or personal experiences related to the movie. Share your stories and reflections in the comments below. Your unique perspective adds another layer to the rich history of this timeless film. Stay tuned for more interesting facts and stories. Keep watching and let the memories flow. The notorious landlady holds secrets that will continue to unravel with every passing scene. Kim Novick delivers an engaging performance in The Notorious Landlady, a movie from 1962 that playfully mocks Hitchcock's style. The story follows a diplomat, played wonderfully by Jack Lemmon, who rents a room in Novick's big house. The movie has a subtle sense of humor, coming before Mel Brooks' high anxiety by several years. After a slow start, the movie picks up pace and keeps it until the end. Many scenes in Novick's house pay tribute to Hitchcock's rear window, where neighbors eagerly watch what's happening. A child warns Lemon, adding a mysterious touch by saying, my mother says you're next, and later insisting, and my father says so too. The climax of the movie combines elements of chase films like North by Northwest with intense scenes reminiscent of the man who knew too much, but in a smaller format. The characters search for an old lady among a sea of wheelchairs during an outdoor concert. Lemon's funny expressions, which influenced actors like Jim Carrey, stand out throughout the movie. Richard Quine's final chase sequence is better than that of Sex and the Single Girl, which came out two years later. However, a small issue arises in the intense scene between Novak and her husband, disrupting the overall light and tongue-in-cheek atmosphere. A similar effect is felt in the pawnbroker's scene. In summary, The Notorious Landlady offers an enjoyable mix of humor and suspense with Jack Lemmon's funny acting standing out. Novak's house nods to Hitchcock's classic rear window and the movie's unique climax adds a special touch. Despite some small dramatic disruptions, the overall experience is pleasant, making it a good watch for fans of classic cinema. In a surprising turn, The Notorious Landlady nearly had a different leading man. Initially, he was offered the role of George M. Cohan in Yankee Doodle Dandy, a part that eventually earned James Cagney an Oscar. The movie, however, took a different path, leading viewers through the fascinating Columbia Ranch. As the film kicks off, the famous Friends Fountain appears on the screen, a familiar sight to fans of the later sitcom Friends. The Columbia Studios' owned land, with its distinct black metal gate, had a touch of London ambience on the northern end famously known as Blondie Street. This location, once the home of the Blondie House and later featured in I Dream of Jeannie, set the stage for the cinematic adventures of the notorious landlady. A significant presence in Best Picture Oscar-nominated films, our lead actor expanded his repertoire with Mr. Roberts, The Apartment, Missing, and JFK. While The Apartment claimed the Oscar, he earned nominations for his compelling performances in All But JFK, securing the Best Supporting Actor accolade for Mr. Roberts. Moving to the notorious landlady, Jack Lemmon and Kim Novak take center stage in this 1962 gem. Novak's performance complements Lemmon's role as a diplomat who finds himself renting a room in her sizable abode. The film cleverly echoes Hitchcock's style, offering a subtle humor reminiscent of Mel Brooks' later work in High Anxiety. Despite a slow start, the movie gains momentum with nods to rear window and a climax combining elements of North by Northwest and The Man Who Knew Too Much. Lemon's humorous expressions, reminiscent of later comedic actors, shine throughout, particularly in the memorable chase sequence set during an outdoor concert. Director Richard Quine crafts a finale that surpasses other chase scenes of the era, adding to the film's appeal. While the notorious landlady delivers a delightful blend of humor and suspense, some dramatic disruptions arise in pivotal scenes. 
the intensity between Novik and her husband, and a similar effect in the pawnbroker's scene momentarily disrupt the overall lighthearted atmosphere. Nevertheless, the movie offers a pleasant viewing experience with Lemon's comedic talent standing out. In conclusion, The Notorious Landlady provides a unique cinematic experience, blending humor, suspense, and nods to classic films. Lemon and Novick's chemistry, coupled with the film's clever references, make it an enjoyable watch for classic cinema enthusiasts. In The Notorious Landlady, the movie pays attention to small details that go beyond the interesting story. The scenes at the pawn shop happen on Little Egbert Street, close to where Hardwick's flat is on the Columbia Ranch, not far from the Disneyland facade. This careful choice of location makes the movie feel more real. Kim Novick, who plays a big part in the film, does more than just act. She designs her own unique wardrobe for her character, adding a special touch to her performance and enhancing the overall look of the movie. There's an interesting family connection behind the scenes. Gabriel Dell, known for his tough roles in The Dead End Kids, is the husband of Allison Daniel, who is Henry's daughter in real life. Their grandson, Gabriel Dell Jr., adds another family link to the movie industry. The story unfolds with Jack Lemon and Kim Novick in the lead roles. Novick's performance works well with Lemon's character, who is a diplomat trying to rent a room in her big house. The movie has a subtle sense of humor, similar to Hitchcock's style, and it comes before later films like Mel Brooks' High Anxiety. As the plot moves forward, the movie gives a nod to Hitchcock's rear window with scenes in Novick's house where neighbors are watching what's happening. A mysterious warning from a child adds a creepy touch reminiscent of suspenseful scenes from movies like North by Northwest and The Man Who Knew Too Much but in a shorter format. Director Richard Quine shows his skill in the exciting climax, surpassing chase scenes from that time. Lemon's funny expressions, which influenced actors like Jim Carrey, stand out, especially in the memorable chase during an outdoor concert. However, some intense scenes between Novick and her husband, as well as a similar effect in the pawnbroker's scene, briefly change the light and playful atmosphere of the film. In conclusion, The Notorious Landlady is a mix of humor, suspense, and references to classic films. Lemon and Novick work well together, and the clever references make it an enjoyable watch for fans of classic cinema, giving a new perspective on the timeless charm of Hollywood's golden era. In The Notorious Landlady, Jack Lemon's father, John Euler Lemon Roman II, makes an uncredited appearance, adding a familial touch to the film's cast. This subtle connection to Hollywood's past enriches the viewer's experience, offering a glimpse into the industry's interconnected history. Ranked 73 in Empire Magazine's The Top 100 Movie Stars of All Time list in October 1997, Jack Lemon's lasting impact is evident. His charming presence on screen continues to captivate audiences, solidifying his status as a timeless movie star. A noteworthy scene unfolds as Lemon, playing a diplomat, engages in a conversation with his landlady, Kim Novick. The mention of my funny Valentine triggers a cinematic connection to Novick's earlier work in Pal Joey. This intertextual reference adds depth to the characters and showcases the subtle intricacies embedded in the film. The movie pays attention to minute details extending beyond the narrative. Scenes at the pawn shop, strategically located on Little Egbert Street near Columbia Ranch, contribute to its authentic atmosphere. The careful selection of this location enhances the film's realism, immersing viewers in its world. Novick's involvement goes beyond acting. She takes on the role of a wardrobe designer for her character. This personal touch brings a unique aesthetic to the film, showcasing her creative influence and contributing to the overall visual appeal. The film unfolds against the backdrop of Columbia Ranch, with its recognizable landmarks like the Friends Fountain and Blondie Street. These settings add a layer of familiarity, connecting it to popular culture moments like the later sitcom Friends. The carefully chosen locations set the stage for the unfolding cinematic tale, in conclusion, The Notorious Landlady not only weaves an entertaining narrative, but also embeds subtle connections to Hollywood's history and the personal touches of its cast. Lemon's influence, Novick's creative involvement, and the meticulous attention to details in the locations collectively contribute to its timeless charm. The movie remains a showcase of the craftsmanship of its era, offering a blend of humor, suspense, and cinematic richness.